Andrew J from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games. A series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you right here in this video. I can't promise you that they're gonna be any good, but I can promise that we're gonna have some fun, so you guys cool with that, you down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, cause here we go! First game today's episode is called Wish A Wish. I have no idea what it's about. Just like this girl right here has no idea what these two girls are talking about. But we are going to click start and we are going to check it right now. And let's see what Wish A Wish is all about. Day comes to an end. Look at that light coming in. How fake it is. Faker than my dad's boobs? People. Like people. What? People like people? Damn, who hurt you? Who hurt this person right here? Each in his own way. As if the whole world is a mirror. They always see themselves and think of themselves. I want to tear down the walls from this mirror, but I'm afraid to cut my hands off. What are you talking about? What is this Shakespearean type of quotes? Fear. Don't be alone. Fear of exclusion. Is this a horror game? What is happening right now? But I've never been one of them. Is he wearing shades or are those thick ass gray eyebrows? I was not against them either, but maybe I had to be in front of them to make them see me. Sometimes you can't see the person next to you. My friends with whom I've shared the same tables for years, and they don't want to learn. Or as I've always been a careful watcher. What are you talking about, my boy? Luna, for example, always falls asleep at this time of the day and is always like this in the last lessons because she ate too much at noon. Lucy loves to draw things too. In fact, he could have been a talented painter, but it is a pity that neither he nor his family is aware of this talent. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Alisa is one of the most beautiful girls in the class, but she is rude to everyone as if she has a piece of stone in her heart. But I think there might be a very emotional person inside. She honestly looks dead inside. And I know because I've had that look before. So what about me? The kid that everyone ignores. Who knows me? Do they know my favorite movie or my favorite dish? I don't even know some of my best friend's favorite movies or favorite dishes. Or my birthday? Fuck your birthday! Yes, it's my birthday today. Well, happy freaking birthday, kid! But another ordinary day for everyone. Hey! What's wrong with you? I'm fine. I'm just a little tired. You better go to sleep a little earlier at night, man. Those mangas are messing with your head. I enjoy reading manga. It takes me out of the dark world and takes me to wonderful places. I recommend you too. Relax, man. I didn't say anything about your manga. You just need to get back to real life. And where did you get the idea that this world is dark? Look, there are so many beautiful girls around. What about Sakura, for example? He's new to the school this year. He's a little shy, but he'll relax as he gets used to it. Why don't you introduce him to the school? <laughs> don't be ridiculous. What am I going to tell him? And I'm not in the mood today. What's wrong with you, man? Enjoy this wonderful day. Yeah, it's a great day. You're really weird today. I'm going down to the garden. Maybe I'll see some pleasant scenery while the girls play volleyball. Are you coming? No, I'm not coming, you pervert. Okay, you know. Okay, you know. That's how you say bye these days. Hey, hi. Hi. You look like you're in a bad mood. I'm all right. I'm fine. Are you sure you don't want to tell me? No, thank you. I know I've been friends with you for years, but you've always kept me at a distance. I could never figure out why it was like this. Maybe you have something you want to say to me? What's that got to do with it? Okay, okay, calm down. I didn't say anything. Why is this guy moving his head so much? You're even grumpier than usual today. I think I'd better leave you to yourself. Yeah, apparently this dude that we're playing as has a lot of attitude. Is this a game or is this a movie? Ha <laughs> ha! No one remembered. Even my best friend. What did you expect, dummy? You are not valuable to anyone. How you waited all day. Ha <laughs> ha. Maybe I need to do some things myself to prove to myself that I'm worthy. I wish my parents had given me more than money for my birthday. Some attention, a little love. I kind of feel bad for this kid. I must have walked too much while thinking. Maybe I'd better ask this shop where I am. Maybe I'd better ask this shop where I am. You don't even know your own town? Hi. Hey, handsome. Wait, what? Hold on, he's calling me handsome? Yo, we need to call the police on this dude. It's an old ass man. Ha 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 ha. Me? Thank you very much. You are very kind. How can I help you? Actually, I was going to ask you where I was. 
What? Are you lost? Yeah, I was walking alone absent-mindedly and I found myself here. Must be a deep topic to come this far. Ha <laughs> ha! This is the east side of the city! If you take the bus from the opposite stop, it will take you to the center. What thoughts brought you to this part of the city? Today's my birthday and no one cared about it. It's nothing important. You know what? Let's tell this guy about our birthday, I guess. Oh, that's great! Happy birthday! Don't pay any attention to them. I have something just for you. You wanna see it? Why not? What is he gonna show me? A body pillow? What the hell is this? Then you'll have a good night's sleep, huh? This dude is a freaking creep, bro. For some, it's just a pillow. For others, it's a friend. Haha, <laughs> thank you, but I have enough friends. Actually, I could use a friend. No, don't be that guy. Don't be that kid. Then you'll have a good night's sleep, huh? Since it's your birthday, I'll give you this at half price. Thanks. What? I'm taking that? Bro, that's an L. Look at these girls. I think I've seen these before. You've seen girls before? Okay, congratulations, bro. Oh, yeah, the blonde one is a year younger than us. And the other must be his cousin in the upper grades. They're really beautiful. Like an angel. Would things change if they touched my life? I wonder if they have the love and affection I need. I wish they could pull me out of this life. I wonder if I could say hello to them and talk to them. What would I say? I don't have anything cool about me. Why would they want to be friends with me? Maybe I should muster up the courage to say hello. Hey, I can't do it. I don't even make a sound. If I look any more like this, they'll call the police. God, I'm like a bum. I scare the girls. I better move on. What is up with this guy that we're playing as? This dude giving me some loser vibes, making me feel like a loser. Oh my God, my head feels like it's gonna explode. First all that bull, and then this. What was your problem? Adaka Mukara? I must be out of my mind. But that salesman, it was like he was implying something. He was really enthusiastic when he gave me this pillow. He just wanted to earn a few extra yen. Or, or what? You've become a dreamer. You'd better get used to real life, or you will continue to be sad. Like today. God, what time is it? I'd better go to bed. Why don't you just say that you're yawning instead of making me go, Oh, why is this body pillow on the bed, bro? I didn't do the math homework. Damn it! The teacher's gonna kill me. I need to come up with a convincing lie. But I'd better think about it tomorrow. Why don't you just say your body pillow ate your homework? Come here, my dear pillow wife. I'm done, bro. I need to pull eye drops in my eyes after seeing this bullshit. Oh, God, what am I saying? I guess I'd better come up with a name. Hmm. I found it, yes. Your name is Angela. Why not just Angela? Good night, Angela. <laughs> oh, oh. God, it's been a weird night. I've had so many different dreams. You fell asleep with your suit and tie on? I'm sure there was a pillow here last night. Look to your right. Oh, wow, there is no pillow. Where's Angela? She's making breakfast. I'm sure there was a pillow here last night. Is my brother playing an unpleasant joke on me again? If I ever get my hands on him. This is ridiculous, bro. Wait. What? Oh, my. <laughs> the pillow became a real girl. Who are you? What are you doing in my room? Angela. No. Dude, the body. No, what? Oh, my God. It was finally getting good. I could have done so many things with that right there. Fuck! Oh, I was so ready. That was just a demo to wish a wish. You've got to be freaking kidding me, bro. I was ready to just crack so many jokes with that one. Next game today's episode is the demo to Shirime 2, the genesis of Butt Eye. This is the prologue. If you guys have never seen me play this before, it was its own video way back when. I'll probably leave the link to it in the description box below, but how do I start this? Here we go. So this time we're playing as the girl. In the first one, we were playing as the guy looking for his girlfriend. So yeah, this time we get to figure out what happened to her. If anybody cares about that. So... That's the curviest right turn signal I've ever seen. Little sister, I'll help you. Even if it's the last thing I do. She got the strap. She's not playing around. She's done playing. She's going to start spraying. That's her motto. 
That's her John Wick style intro. She's like, I'm done playing. Time to get the spraying. And this is how it begins. Press one up arrow to light up. What does that mean? Oh, okay. Complimentary horror game flashlight. And it's an over the shoulder view. Press shift left analog stick to run. So I'm about to shoot this dude right in his eye. Right in this one eyed monster's eye. But there's something dead ahead. So let me see where this butt master is. This ass master 9000. A big rock with some strange markings on it. Eye for an eye. Yes or no? <laughs> there's a light on in here. Should I go in here? Should I check it out? I don't think I want to check it out yet. I don't think I'm about that life. I do remember when I played the first one, there was actually some kind of chapel. I think it was like right in the middle. Yeah, it was over here. Over here. There you go. The church. So we're going to go in the church and we are going to find our sister. She is ready. She is locked and loaded. Like that's a stance where you know I'm not playing no more. Everything is business. It's locked. I need to find the key. All right. Where would a key be though? I kind of hate how close it is to the back of her head. I kind of wish it was first person or maybe like a further third person, if that makes sense. Well, let's see where we can find a key, everybody. It's got to be inside of a house. But where is this guy? Like, I want to smell his stinky ass butthole right now. Where is he? Maybe there is something here in this building. Let me check. Let me see. What's that? Another clip? Oh, shoot. That means something serious is about to happen, huh? Oh, boy. Oh, dear. I'm not ready for this, everybody. I don't think I'm ready for all this smoke. But I think I found the key. Yes. Okay, so the first building that I checked was the right one. I am so happy about that. Hopefully you all aren't getting motion sick from me just running around like this. Because it's kind of making me motion sick. I'm kind of like, Ugh. But we got the key that we need. What? There ain't shit in here. How exactly is this supposed to help me find my sister? You'll see him if you look Among Us, bro. <laughs> I forgot about the Among Us. Uh-oh. <gasps> Holy crap. Oh, shoot. Dude, don't look like some long ass fingers. Huh? He looked like a sweaty, unwiped. What? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Bop! 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 Uh, 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 uh. God damn it. Oh, 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 shit! There's two butt cheeks! Yo! What the heck? What the hell? Oh my god, what a twist! There's two ass cheeks! I don't know where to go! I don't even know what to do! Bro, forget about my sister! Ah! There's three! Oh shit! Oh my god, it's a city full of ass, dude. I feel like it's Miami all over again. Come on, 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 come on. Bro, we are in Miami with all this ass. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, dude. Dude, I need to go. I need to go. I need to go. Get in my car and just let's get out of here. What if my sister turned into a giant ass, bro? I feel like my sister turned into a giant asshole. I'm about to get out of here. I'm done with this. I'm just going to run to my car and I'm going to be done with it. Hopefully we can. If we can't, I'm going to be very disappointed. Get in, get in, get in. Get in. Oh, this beat. Come on. I got bullets. I got enough. I got enough gas for that ass. Come here. Oh, shoot. Why is these butt cheeks so freaking big gonna make me act up? Come on. Oh! Like that? His eye looked like a hemorrhoid. Come on. Die. Bro, I'm about to get some toilet paper and wipe you. How do you have a bigger ass in the front than in the back? Bro has no ass. Got that plank ass. I got no bullets for this. Trust me. Trust me. Oh. Uh. Uh, come here. Come here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beat those cheeks. Beat those cheeks. Oh, yeah. I'm stay beating those cheeks up. Come here. Let me reload my gun. And I'm beating these cheeks up. Come here. Uh, you like that? I beat those cheeks up. Whew. That got me sweaty. Look at her. Oh, no. It stink. It's too overpowering. <laughs> she got too much ass. Huh? What?
Oh no. Is that her sister's eye? If you want to save Jennifer's life. What? You will need to add unfollow to your wish list. <laughs> Are you kidding me? But I already have unfollow in my wish list. <laughs> oh man, so come on. <laughs> I need to eat this to save my sis. She needs to eat ass to save her sister. Yo, honestly, would you eat ass to save your sister? I don't know. It depends. Like, did they take a shower first? What? Is that Jennifer? Ah, uh, okay. I'm just gonna assume that's Jennifer. Sharon! <laughs> Sharon! And that's how the first one started. Sharon. The guy was saying Sharon like a little bitch. He was like, Sharon! <laughs> oh, Sharon! <laughs> but yeah, that was cool. At least we found out what exactly happened to his girlfriend. Follow us on Steam. It would mean a lot to ass. Last game of today's episode is called Last Stop. I guess if it's the last stop, it's the last stop. But here I am in the whip, and I have nobody in it. Sounds great for a Friday night. Guess I'm going home. Probably going to get myself my own body pillow. But it says, what a shit day. And then I couldn't even read the rest. So yeah, I need to go to the same store as the first game and get a body pillow. Car's going to run out of fuel soon. Better make a pit stop. What if I don't? What are you going to do about it? Absolutely nothing. Hold on, hold on. I see a gas station on that ass. Yeah, buddy. All right. No cars at all. Strange. I mean, it is pretty late. It's not that strange. Press E to park car. Hold on. I parked it. I hope I parked it. If not, I think I just crashed into the building. Either way, I'm dead, right? Because this game is called Last Stop. The gas pumps have no power. How do I give up power? How do I empower these gas station things? What does this say? It says, Notice of closure. Dear drivers, please note that this gas station sucks and will be closed starting from blank on blank due to the following. Not safe. We are sorry for all inconveniences caused by this closure. Normal operations will resume on don't come back. Have a safe journey. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. Thank you for taking the time to write that. What do I do then? Do I break in? Do I go home? I still need gas, right? So I'm going to need to find a way to make these things work. Let's see. There's nothing in there. Okay. Nothing in these random boxes. I feel like the controls are really clunky. It's weird. Maybe I go around. Yeah, maybe I go around town. So let's see what we got over here. Actually, maybe I don't go around? Because this thing is pretty closed off. It's pretty fenced off if I do say so myself. So what in the holiest of folks do I do? Can I go inside here? No, that shit's chained. Shout out chain gang. Oh, wait, never mind. It's not chained. This should have gas inside it. Just need an empty canister. You mean this thing? Oh, no. Okay, this is creepy. Nope. Whoa. What the heck? So that means somebody's in there? Fuck no. <laughs> That's pretty creepy. Here we go. Whoa! What the heck? Somebody's here. Somebody's here to clap. Press E to fill up gas. Okay. I'm doing it. Some Somebody. Okay, come on. Hurry up. Uh-oh. I didn't do that. So that means somebody did it for me. Oh, crap. Yo, I'm kind of nervous. I think that's it. Right? How come I can't move? All right. Let's go fill up our gas can. And hopefully this is enough. This should at least get me to another gas station. So let's fill up the gas and leave. Fuck that. What the hell was that about? Somebody in my car? I think somebody's in my car. It's like that one game that I played when I was driving down the road and somebody was in my back seat. And they just did whatever they had to do. I think I came from this way. Oh, wait. Hold on. Why did I just completely do a U-turn? All right. I guess I'm going to go this way, everybody. 
I was supposed to go the other way, everybody. That's my bad. I am so bad with directions. In real life, though, I am bad with directions. Like, I can go to the same place 20 times, and I still wouldn't know what road or what area I get off at. But my car is not going to run out of fuel soon. This game is just treating me like a child. I have to go this way. I have to go to the right. There we go. And let's follow the road. I bet you if I restarted this game, I wouldn't run out of fuel. I just have a feeling. I'm gonna see somebody in my seat. Cause the car was honking. What is that? What the heck? Hey, move, bitch! So some asshole just ran at me full sprint. Dude thought he was the flash or something. If that happens in real life, could I just say that this guy would not move out of the way? Can I say like it was self-defense because he was running at me to try to kill me? And the car was used as a weapon in self-defense. I don't know if that would work in a court of law, but I feel like it makes sense. All right, everybody, but that's going to do it for this episode of Free Random Games. Hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cove Scouts is that dude.